This Sunday at the McCallum Theater, it's a trip back in time to celebrate the greatest generation, those who grew up during the Great Depression and fought World War II. The McCallum Theater Concert Band will be on hand under the direction of the theater's president and CEO, Mitch Gershenfeld, and narrating the story, Mr. Gavin McLeod, an American treasure. It is so good to have both of you with us. Thank good you. To be here. So let's start by how this all came to be about doing this tribute to the greatest generation. Well, the McCallum Theater Concert Band, this will be our seventh year, and uh, we bring the best musicians from the Los Angeles studios, the film and television studios, and we put this band together, and we do a program every year, and I found this piece called The Greatest Generation by Robert W. Smith, and when I read the text, I thought the perfect narrator for this has to be Gavin, and I called him, and he was so gracious to agree to do it. The music is sensational. The words are really on the, on the money. It, it just makes you feel proud to be an American. And I was a little boy when, the, when this greatest generation started. And I could relate to a lot of things that are talked about mm -hmm. during that Second World War. How the country unified and came together, everybody, everybody, to win the war. And so was that why they, it was kind of named the, the greatest generation is because of the, the total effort by the by the country? You know, I think Tom Brokaw's book, The yes. Greatest Generation, sort of made that phrase associated with the generation that, that won World War II. And uh, uh, this piece of music, while it's not based on, on Brokaw's book, I think it, it, it gives that same kind of feeling and, and very emotional piece and, and with, with beautiful text. And y you lived through part of that. Yes, I was, my father was an air raid warden. So it means something personal to you. I remember a, an awful lot of it, yes. Am I the oldest one here? I guess so. Yes, I do remember <laughs> a lot of it. And uh, it was true. My father, my father left to go we were in Pleasantville, New York. He went to work in Connecticut building airplanes. So we didn't see him for a long time mm -hmm. because everybody was in the war effort. And people were making a lot of money, too. You know, and uh, he had lost the gas station that he owned because were, you had to get t tickets and things to buy gas, and that was going down the tubes. So he had that, and so I relate that way. And uh, but as my mother said, we always had food on the table. This presentation is a little bit different in that it's also kind of like an ice cream social. Well, the concert um, itself. I think that's great. I, <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to sort of bring back the old concert in the park. Um, you know, in, in, the, in the 19th century and early 20th century, every town had a band. And on Sunday afternoons, you'd have a band concert, and you'd play marches and, and different kinds of pieces. And then everyone would have a picnic, and they would have ice cream. So we do this. We do marches. We do uh, some concert pieces. We're going to do the Carnival of the Animals. And then afterwards, in the lobby, everyone gets free ice cream. But the, the, the best thing about this concert, in my opinion, is going to be the playing, as we do every year, of John Philip Sousa's Stars and Stripes Forever. And conducting it this year, is going to be Gavin McLeod, and here is your baton, Maestro. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it says great. King David. <laughs> <laughs> he follows me every place I go. <laughs> it's going to be this Sunday, three o'clock. That's right, Callum. Yes. People can get tickets. Tickets the are ice still cream available. Is great. <laughs> <laughs> still available, McCallumtheater.com. All right. Thanks to both of you. Uh, absolutely. I, you, I applaud you already. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Mitch. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Joe. We'll Good take a break and we'll be right back.